right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Nightly Sports Call. All right, thanks a lot, Ken, and thank you for tuning in to the Nightly Sports Call. Rich Walsh will be joined by Gene Collier in just a moment. So give us a call, 412-575-2600 is the number. We're talking about the Steelers. Uh, some injuries still going on at the south side. Some replacement players over there. A couple things happening. they got to move around some personnel, but it looks like they're going to make things work against the Green Bay Packers. Juju Smith still not able to practice with a hamstring injury today. He was able to run on the sidelines, but did not take part in any team activities uh, with, you know, any, any practice. So the good news with him, he was able to practice today. And uh, Ben Roethlisberger was sick. But he was able to practice. Doesn't look like a guy that's about to retire to me, Gene. Sick out there practicing. No, he's pretty, <clears throat> apparently taking it pretty seriously, as he's been uh, quick to point out to a lot of people. <laughs> All right, uh, Antonio, Defensive Player of the Week. He definitely deserves that. Uh, this is a team that's going to revolve around Ben Roethlisberger, Antonio Brown, and Le'Veon Bell. The one good thing, and you'll hear from Bell coming up at 11 o'clock on KDK TV that he talks about that, hey, he's he got a little break here. Not only uh, did they have a few days off, but they didn't use him as much in that win against Tennessee, Gene, and I think this will help them in the long run. Yeah, it should. I mean, if you can save him and win, I mean, that's, you know, that's a win-win, as they say. Um, and, you know, it's always good. Um, especially with Bell, who catches a lot of passes, too. If you can get him uh, through a game where you win and he doesn't, you don't use him much, I mean, so much the better, sure. So you saw, and I mean, I'm sure you've watched the, the Packers, you guys out there, I know Gene and I have. Um, uh, they're absolutely awful without Aaron Rodgers. Uh, I don't think this is a team that would come in here and upset the Steelers uh, like don't, some other teams don't would. Don't say that. Uh, I feel pretty confident with. Yeah, I know, I know. But this NFL... You never know. Yeah, yeah, not for long. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I think this is a team, I, you know, being around these guys and in the locker room, you kind of feel that, that maybe they're starting to really put things together and maybe that the losing the bad teams thing is over. Um, but this is a really bad team without Aaron Rodgers. Well, yeah, the Packers got off to a good start. They were 4-1. They were actually in Vegas the fourth best odds to win the Super yeah. Bowl at that point. Now they're five and five. Um, yeah, I mean they're they're playing. I mean the Steelers are a fourteen point favorite. That's a really unusual line in an NFL game. So yeah, they're in bad shape. But can they win? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I'm NFL. not saying that the um, the Packers that the Steelers recover the spread, but I think they're going to win this game. Um, and I think that 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 you, you're going to probably go back to seeing a lot of Le'Veon Bell again in this type of game on on Sunday night. But who knows? I guess it just, it's whatever the, the one good thing is about the Steelers, they've been able to adapt and, um, you know, they got enough weapons. You know, they've been able to do both things, Rich. They've been able to uh, take a game plan in there that's a running, a running game plan, basically, and win with that. And they've been able to do the opposite as well. What they haven't done is played a lot of games where they've had, you know, really good balance. Uh, and that's, that's a thing to look for. That's a thing that really successful teams have and the Steelers have yet to exhibit. But... There's very little to criticize about the Steelers. There really is. Is it hard to get that balance when you have to maybe appease a lot of stars on the team? You, you knew that Antonio Brown was going to have a, a good game, or at least they were going to try to get him the ball a lot yeah, the last yeah. game, just because he didn't the right. few previous weeks. Yeah, no, I, I don't think it's that. I just think it's a matter of execution. I mean, they just haven't uh, you know, done everything right in every instance. That's right. And I think, I know... You weren't here, and I think maybe you and Bob had a chance to talk about it, but, you know, not Mar having Marcus Gilbert, um, you know, guys have to be disappointed. Um, but it, mm -hmm. it seems like they're going to welcome him back, but you got to be like, how could you do this? How could you not know what you're putting in your body, despite these guys saying that they – this guy like him said he didn't know. No, no, he knew. Yeah. Yeah, and I think, um, you know, one thing I'd like to get into a conversation with you maybe in the second segment, I, Ron and I talked about it yesterday, is mm -hmm. I think that the PEDs are more prevalent than we know. Uh, we, we know that these, that these companies are way ahead of the testing, so um, I, I would like to get your opinion about sure. that in the second half. Um, also, give us a call tonight, 412-575-2600. Uh, the Penguins lose again and lose again at home to Vancouver tonight, 5-2. to two. We'll have highlights of that coming up on KDK-TV and want to get your thoughts coming up next. So stay right there. Give us a call. Back in a couple minutes.